Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm, an, I'm a narcissist. I'm so glad that you at least admit it. And it's on can it's on video for everybody to to see. Well, no, it's not on video. It's just audio. See, there's the stream elements. Okay, now people are gonna start getting the fucking notif. Hi, Paragon. Howdy. Are we doing cowboy speak? Howdy, darn tootin' Paragon. My name is uh Mercantile Merkin Mercantile Jessica. Welcome in to Merkin. Do you know what a Merkin is? A mercantile is a is a shopkeep. Well, yeah, but do you know what a Merkin is? Sure don't. <laughs> this is the Wild West. Why would I know what that is? I don't know, man. All I, I do is sling snakes and 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 <laughs> sling more snakes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think you need help. I always need help. Paragon, can you help me? Don't do it. Paragon, can you help me? Zoinkies! Zoinks. Snake slingers aren't real. How would you know? Have you ever slung a snake? <laughs> I have. So there you go. I'm a snake slinger. What is that emoji? It's a emote. But what is it? Who is it? Whose face is that? Hold on. I'm doing live notice. I can't speak. You have to do it. I don't... I don't know whose face that is. Can somebody tell me? Dr. Squackle. You're the one who... What... It's Kappa, which is a symbol of sarcasm. Yeah, but who's the guy? Kappa. But that's not the name of a real person. As a trans <gasps> See, you get it! You get it! You have certainly slung a snake! You get it! Insane. Thank you, Zarin, for, uh, for understanding. Are we going to turn the video on? I'm waiting. Oh, okay. I recently learned that zero, that 07 is, um, is a, a salute. I used to think when Sarah would, would text it to me, I used to think it was a BTS thing. And I was thoroughly confused. Imagine I got the Imagine JFK just did that. My family is still disappointed. Are you gonna thank? Uh, thank you, Madam Brax, for. Imagine JFK's uh, head just did that. Seven months. Wait, what? <laughs> thank you, JB Paragon. J R no. Paragon. No. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Brax, thank you for thank you for um seven months. It's a total of thirteen months. But thank you, thank you so much for. Uh, thanks for another month of showing up. That's crazy. Um, imagine JFK's head just did that. See, gang, gang. See, JFK's head. We never said what JFK's head did. We just said imagine being imagine being JFK and then dying. The rest is up to you. I got the sense uh, that my family. Thank you, Zarin, for five months. Did I get that one right? Did I do that one? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much. Aren't you guys so glad to have me back on stream? Thank you so much for five months. We are one more. We are one point. We are one PP point closer to our PP goal. Imagine his head just did that by itself. Oh, maybe it could have. I'm just saying. Did anybody actually see a gun? I didn't. What are you doing? You're flying down.
Anyway, this is the fit. It's just a dress, courtesy of Target. Check it. It has pockets. <laughs> He's pulling his cock out. <laughs> He's pulling his cock. Wait, oh. Yeah, hey, at least you know you'll get a TikTok from this stream. I got a, a tr I Trust me. The only reason I had her on was because I, I knew I, my streams had a little bit of lack of uh, clips, and I needed more. And she's really good at that. By the way, this is my sister. Um, just as a reminder. What are you doing? I'm updating the board. Days without talking about Omegaverse for too long. How many days are you at? Sister farming for the win? Yeah, One. correct. And I have a feeling it's... You want to go, go back down to zero? I have a feeling. We can go back down to zero. No. Could I'm silly. Our, our goal... Oh, that's what's wrong. Well, you don't have a light on. I was like, why does this look so fucked up? Chat, I don't think Sarah's ever streamed before. And I don't think she knows what she's doing. That is so much... Better. What's the speaking about cock slash balls command again? Oh, cock set. Exclamation mark cock set in chat. Hold on. Oh, that's like a thing that you have? I thought it was like they say a secret word and then we talk about cock and balls. It's one of the defective clones. My bad. No, I know. They commit cock clock. The cock clock. Wait, the cock? What do you- We have the cock clock. What the fuck is the cock clock? They time how long it takes me to- Start talking about cock and balls again. Ah. Wow, did you set a new record? Like three minutes. I don't know. I don't know. I will always. What's my record? Didn't it before? just sound like a door opened? Oh, it's my neighbor. Okay, oh, yeah, you're that... freaking me out for no fucking reason. <laughs> I was really close. I you're thought free... it was. I thought somebody opened your front door, and I was gonna be like. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Where is the Omegaverse clock? It's not really a clock. It's more it's just, just like a board. day counter. It's right there. You can, I don't know if you can tell. It says it says one. One. Pop. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, did somebody already clip it? <laughs> you gonna show? Okay. Oh, okay. We stopped caring about the cock clock because Sarah drew attention to the damned Omegaverse. <laughs> Look, the Omegaverse is, is fun. <laughs> I realize you can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was silly. That was silly. Streamception. Okay, now we have to clip. Now somebody has to clip this, and then we have to watch ourselves reacting to that. Sarah's like doing a whole bunch of like streamer shit and like pressing a whole bunch of buttons. <sighs> That's above my pay grade. What are you doing? You're flying. I don't know, I don't know how to. I don't know how to <laughs> push a button. That was funny. That was thank you, Doga. That was funny. <laughs> that was good. I it's enjoyed okay, that buttons thoroughly. Are... No, for real. You know what? You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> buttons these days are not real because, like, because, because, like, you know, like, uh, fucking. That's not a button. These are. Thank wow. You. They... <laughs> <laughs> Turn your brightness down, stupid. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know how to stream. What? These aren't buttons. Where's the- this is not a button. Where's the sensation? That's not a button. A button is something that I can push down and pr- <laughs> Buttons are liberal woke propaganda. Exactly. Exactly. It's the radical left telling you the buttons are real. They're not. Bring them back. Okay. Um, before this gets, like, way too out of hand- it's my soapbox. Um, essentially what's happening today- I'm not gonna be streaming for very long- because I do have dinner plans, but, not with you, but, my sister is here, so I'm gonna give her a soapbox and a mic, 
and just see what comes out of her mouth. We're gonna be <laughs> speed run demonetization. Let's go. I'm. <laughs> Take it away. Just because there is no tactical response, it's still a button. Take the cross. Hi, Callum. They're they're not buttons. Hello, Callum. I just all I want is like like Sarah. Can you can you can can I use your switch as an example of a button? A real Howdy, button? Mr. Bandana Head. See, this is this right here. This is a real button. Okay. Speed run Twitch YouTube kick and Instagram live. <laughs> I'll be. I'll. I'll I can die do it. Before. I no, can do it. you don't want to speed run kick. That's where the Nazis are. They're not everywhere. <laughs> I got too real too quick. <laughs> don't mention Nazis. L L O L U L O L. It's an emote. Oh. Can I we teach Jessica? Jessica? Guys, everybody put your favorite emotes in chat so I can teach Jessica They're them. worst over there. They're also on Rumble. Did what you the mean fuck is Rumble? Did you mean Bumble? What is Rumble? Did you mean Bumble? What is that? That looks like feet? Is that Mothman? Is that feet? No. I, I also I to, enjoy... So you can see them. Awesome too. Bomber. If I Google Rumble, am I going to regret it? Rumble is Bumble, but to find people to fist fight. I gotta get on that! For real? No, I have to know. Am I gonna regret- What the heck? God, you're so gay. <laughs> and I mean that literally, because gay people can't sit straight. <laughs> I'm gay too! I just like sitting like this. <laughs> It's a live stream. You don't have to tell Sarah that. Look at their outfit. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah. I have to Google what the heck Rumble I'm is. Wear <laughs> I'm wearing... Rumble. I'm Ooh. wearing the... I got the Animal Crossing t-shirt, ripped jeans, and the bandana. Okay, okay. This is the first headline that comes up when you, when you Google Rumble. Offset versus Big Zoo and Goons, Nikki versus Cardi, Young Thug Dad Stamps Gunna, YK Osiris Lined Y. What? It, what? Half of those are what rappers. It, what it, well, yeah, obviously. Half of those words are rappers' names. I know. Jessica, what are your opinions on the Kendrick versus Drake beef? I had to ask a friend to explain it to me because I didn't know it was happening. Um. And the only reason I knew about it is because that one dude got shot on Drake's property. And then everybody was like, well, this is what happens when rappers beef. And I was like, is it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if. Yes, it is. Anyway. Kendrick on top. Thank you very much. Anyway, I haven't listened to any of it. Uh, I, yeah. I, I have not listened to any of it. Again, I had to ex I had to get a friend to explain it to me, and I still don't really get it. Jessica, what pronouns do you use? What pronouns do I use? They want to they want to bully you correctly. I appreciate that. Uh, I prefer she her pronouns. I'm a I'm a woman. I'm a she. I'm a her. I'm Would a female. Like you introduce yourself. Oh, hello. Hey, internet. Let's let's get real close and personal. <laughs> let's get real. Let's, let's get real nice and cozy. Hi, internet. My name is Jessica Sweetie. It's not really my last name, but it's what you're gonna know is my last name. Um, I am 22. You're 20. I thought you were 21. No. Okay. Whoops. Weird. <laughs> Anyway, I'm 22. I like long walks on the beach. That's not true. I hate long walks on the beach. Um, I'm a Leo, and and I'm so silly. And I'm I'm really fat, so that makes me really funny. <laughs> it's just like it's like there's a proportion of fat to comedy, and it's and it's and it's a circle, you know. The Venn diagram of fat and comedy is a circle. I'd happily watch you over Sarah. Can Mods, can we get this guy? Ban that one. 
What the fuck? This is where I don't like collabing with people because I never, I'm never liked. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Can't, can't apologize. She's right, we're funny. Oh my God, Zara, you and the fat gang? Let's go. Can, can you zoom that out? I don't know how. <laughs> Thank you. You don't want, you don't want the, it's your stream now. Oh, okay, awesome. All right, Good so on, I had an idea for stream that you shot down because it was going to take too long. I'm just saying, if if it's my stream, I've got ideas. Chat, I have ideas. I like Sarah's content and stuff. Mr. Banana Head, don't lie. Bandana <laughs> Head. No, Mr. Bandana Head is the one whole, so you can't, you're not allowed to bully Mr. Bandana Head. We actually parasocially love Mr. Bandana Head. They're so wholesome. Sarah knows I love her, really. Do you? Do I? Do I, Callum? Oh, look, kitty cat. Where the kitty? I love, I love my cat because every time somebody meets her, they go, I just love her because she looks like she has little socks on. Yeah, she does. I did give you the net. It, it looks good. You don't even have a print of mine yet. I actually only come in here for attentions. For attention, I hate Sarah's streams. Slash J. J for genuine? Oh my god. Do you know how to spell? <laughs> yes, it was a joke, idiot. Um, Mr. Bandana Head is nice as fuck, and it makes so mean <laughs> bitches look bad. How does one ah. pay it forward? Um, you sell me money. No! <laughs> what the fuck? That's how you pay it forward. No! You can gift things through fourth wall, I think, if you go to sarahsweet.com at mark march and chat. And then everybody has a chance to enter. <laughs> nah, I like Zaren. They're, they're spitting. They're spitting. They get it. Hold on. New prompt. Sarah or the bear? Bear. What are you doing? I have to fix my underwear. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you not step out of the room? <laughs> because you blocked it well enough. It's true. Fat Why people make good well? doors. Quote it. Fat people make good doors. Speed I just running TOS look, violations. Here's the thing. I just want to say for anybody because, like, honestly, this angle's kind of doing me good, and it doesn't look like I'm that big. I'm 280 something pounds. I'm fat, all right, and I'm five four. I'm fat, all right, and I can say it. New T-shirt design. <laughs> fat people make good doors. I'm gonna fucking get canceled. Can I? Can I commission it? Sure. All right, guys. I'm gonna commission a T-shirt that says "Fat people make good doors," and it'll be my face. But I'll be in the shape of a door. <laughs> I'd buy it. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sarah just gets it. They just get me. Even practices that would sell hard. I'm just saying. The fat audience is very rarely tapped into. And then when it is, all of these fat influencers, they get a bunch of money, so they go lose weight. Which, like, good for them, because, like, you want to be healthy. But, like, then they become what we, what we call former fat girls, and they just become bitches to the fat people. And it's like, girl, you were one of us. No, get on your soapbox. Yeah, no, that's, that's my soapbox. My other soapbox is people who are like, actually, I hate fat people on airplanes. And it's like, don't, it's like, I understand being uncomfortable and, like, wanting, you know, wanting more space. But, like, then tell the fucking airplane manufacturers to give you more space. <gasps> what is this? Yo, exclamation mark, enter in chat. Exclamation mark, enter in chat. You have 60 seconds. You guys, fucking, who did that? Callum just gifted a print. This mm. is sick. This is, I want, yeah. Wait, you can't do that. That's cheating. Sure can. Hello, Ocean Warrior. That's Welcome cheating. In. What? Guys, <laughs> guys, Sarah's rigging it. I'm not rigging it. Sarah's rigging There's it. There's no guarantee I'll win it. Cancel Sarah. I'm <laughs> Hashtag Sarah Sweetie is over party. It won't give it to the streamer. It doesn't give it to the no. streamer? No. Good. Down with capitalism. You're the 1% in this room. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure you make more than me right now. You wanna bet? Are we are we about to go band for band? Sarah, Sarah, how much money do you think I'm making from my current gig? Didn't you say like four hundred dollars a week? No, 
That was how much I would have been making if I did the interview thing I got. I, you, Sarah, Sa cheater. All right, all right. Hear me out. Let's start a chant. Sarah, sweetie, is over party. Put it in the chat. Sarah, Jessica, sweetie, is over party. Jessica, it's for you. Jessica, it's for you. You know what I want. Which I, one? I I want me as a door. It says, <laughs> it says fat people make good doors. No, you should give it to somebody in chat. You should give it to somebody in chat. Sarah, you should give it to somebody in chat. Squid did the same thing. Well, you don't have to be squid. Okay, I'm, whatever. I'm I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Yeah, let's go. Sarah Sweetie is over party. Yeah, just redo it. Can you redo it? I don't know how to cancel it. Wait. Oh, fuck. I'm not signed in. Be better? Yeah, for real. I'll figure it out later. That's code for she's never gonna figure it out. Be worse I can do. <laughs> I can be worse. I don't know. The bar's kind of on the floor right now. You want me to find a shovel? I'll start digging. Ain't no fucking way. That's I'm what I'm calling, saying. I'm calling drama alert. Yeah, somebody get a... Uh, what's what's his name? What's his face? I'll, I'll ask Mika for the help dude. with it later. I forget the name. Send chat to emote, emote only. I'm posting you on Twitter. It's so over from you. Yeah. <laughs> That's my porn name. That's... This concludes this stream. I have to go. It's over. It's my stream and it's over. And I'm ending it. <laughs> I, so, <laughs> it's so over. So, yeah, this is what I get for being insulted on my own stream. Thank you, Quack. This is why Quack is for admin. Um, so, so, the thing is, I say a lot of things without thinking about them. That's why I'm here. That's my job today. It's not gonna be any better. If anything, it's about to get worse. I just got here. Welcome to the shit show. <laughs> wait, didn't you say the yeah, first- Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a you minute. said howdy. What do you mean you just got here? This motherfucker played first. Par and then Paragon is trying to gaslight all of you. Do not listen to their lies. That's crazy. Did, did I? I? Yeah, I did a whole bit about how I was gonna be a-, a uh, I didn't slinger. scam anyone. <laughs> I didn't scam anyone. I didn't scam a single person. Should I pull up the receipts? No. Did somebody clip it yet? No, shut up. I love <laughs> spreading misinformation. Yo, me too. That's crazy. She stole from us. I yes, did she not. did. I did not. Yes, she did. You. Yeah. This is like this is like that guy Kyle Sheely who did the, the Kyle Sheely mealy, and then when he found out, everybody found out it was a scam. Nobody was mad at Come and Go. They were all mad at Kyle Sheely because Kyle Sheely went up on a soapbox and was like, no, guys, it was all me. Don't give any of those fucks at Come and Go any credit. That's what Callum's doing right now. He's falling on the sword. Do you know how many times you just said the word come? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta clip that. You gotta clip it. So I know what to clip. I know. I'm just making sure. If I had a dollar of every soapbox was said this stream, I can buy Sarah a print. They're not that expensive. Of course I... you were keeping track. <laughs> I just think it's funny. I just think it's a funny word. You're looking... <laughs> Why is JFK in the title? Are you not curious? Um... Okay, so for to explain the JFK title, um, the other day I was on the phone with my friends. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bandana, for the 69! Sarah Appreciation Chat. Sarah channeling anime energy with their presence. I feel like could star in the live-action Yuri on Ice. In case no one has reminded you of it today, you have inherent value and bring joy to the ones you know. Thank you, Mr. Banana Head. Truly, truly the one and only um, a wholesome energy in this in this chat. Thank you. I would love to be in a live action Yuri on Ice. 
Um. Anyway, Noah's oh. Noah's game. Um, the mountain. I don't know. Whatever. Welcome to the Bone Zone. Oh shit! She knows the thank you. I know the thing. Thank you for the follow. Um. Anyway, so I was on the phone with my friends the other day, and we were talking about like JFK, and then I just like was really sleepy, so I said, "Imagine being JFK and then dying." And it was really funny in the moment, and you kind of had to be it. there. Oh, uh, did you hear about our uh, RFK Jr. 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 having a worm Word. in his brain, and now the worm is running for president? You know what? Worms for president. It's kind of, it might be a little bit better than what we got. I mean, RFK is not better than what we got, but like, I don't know if the worm wanted to leave Ronald Kennedy and and like try to run by itself. I'd be open to it. What's its platform? It wants to. It wants to bring <laughs> us underground. It wants to run us into the ground. I mean, we're kind of already on our way there. It's its home turf. I'm just saying, like, maybe if we were underground and we were governed by worms, life would be better. Have you ever heard of a worm war? Worms don't go to war with each other. Have you ever heard of worm? The worm died. The worm died. It starved to death. Do you get it? Oh, because it doesn't have a brain. Do you know what this is? It's the brain sucker. Do you know what it's doing? It's starving. Also, it kind of feels good. Do you know what this is? A dead one of these. Sarah has a worm in there. I have a worm in my intestines. Sarah doesn't have a... He keeps me company. <laughs> Am I uncomfortable? Am I gonna get worms by like sitting here? You told me your cat didn't have worms. Maybe you have worms and you gave it to your cat. Yeah, but I don't butt scoot. That doesn't mean anything. I thought Paragon said, "Yeah, woman fight." Oh, just yeah, finished. worms fight. <laughs> Charge the worm so you can pay back your loans. Oh, this is huge. Have I tried butt scooting? Yes. I've lost not track of what y'all were talking about. Uh, me no, too. Not important. Who's the comic villain, villain that's an evil space worm? Mr. Mind, I think. I don't know. I, I also don't know. Huh? But you know what? You know what? I, I will make a comic villain that is an evil space worm, and I will name him Wormy the Wormerton the Third, and he will be a worm, and he will live in space, and he'll look like a penis, and that will be it. <laughs> God, I miss being a hater. We're so bad. <laughs> it's Worm Jim. Have you guys seen the bears with ten fo No, because I'm not a sick freak. Wait, I want to see. When I say I pick the bear, I hope to God it doesn't have that. Bear with tapeworm. It's Don't Google it. What's the matter with you? Okay. Oh, my God. And your brain is... <laughs> Bro... Tentacle hentai is getting freaky these days. <laughs> Brother! Sorry, I don't think we could show you. I think it gets her demonetized. <laughs> what the fuck? I need to skip this song. I was cursed to see it, and now all of you are too. I don't trust y'all enough not to show don't, us. Don't, don't do it. Don't. It's actually not that bad. It's just really kind of weird. It's like it's okay. You know how like spiders look when they're making the butt stuff. <laughs> Why would you say it like that? I'm j I'm so curious. What propelled you to say butt stuff and not webbing? The internet. Anyway. Oh, brother. Yeah, spiders make webs and they come out of their butts. Thank you very much. Anyway, it's like if a bear was doing that, but like bigger. Because it's a bear butt, not a spider butt. So, <laughs> I have a headache. <laughs> spiders love back to <laughs> so, <laughs> This was a bad idea. 
<laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Paris. <laughs> Are you so glad I'm here? Oh, you're going to leave me alone? Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Chat, we can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. Um, I think Spider Barrett would actually be a pretty good, pretty good superhero. You know, just for better not watch this for another three months. Oh my god, I'm glad. I'm glad that I could. Uh, I could really ruin my sister's <laughs> channel for three months in about a. Uh, in about 30 minutes. It's a it's a true accomplishment. I'd like to thank the Academy for the award. Thank you so much. It's truly an honor. The shitting on your sister's entire livelihood awards, you know? I had some great competition, truly. I don't know anybody who was the competition because I'm too, too stuck up and narcissistic to learn about other people. Sarah doesn't come back in 15 minutes. You're legally the owner of the channel. Should I, <laughs> should I shut the door? I can shut the door. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Sarah, chat said if you don't come in in 15 minutes, then I own your channel. <laughs> Do not make me break this door. <laughs> don't keep my cat out of her room. I didn't do anything to your cat. What if they just <laughs> never come back? Too Bye. bad, both of us are back. You lose. If there's two of y'all, I dropped a PowerPoint in- what? Is it the cow- it- oh, wait. We're not doing that right now. Anyway, how do y'all feel about Scooby-Doo? <laughs> Scoobert, Dubert, it's only 28th- wow. That's like a whole dissertation, my guy. No, no, no. Bomber, I'm the only one allowed to make Scooby-Doo PowerPoints. Um, the rest of you would, no offense, you'd screw it up. you find a way. We're sick nasty when you need them. I could text them. 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 I could text them. I could also text them. Scooby-Doo is the most iconic cartoon character of all time. Correct. Correct, quack. You get it. And what if I said, what <clears throat> if I said it was Jake the dog? What you, if I said it was Bender? You would be lying to yourself. Both iconic in, in their own right. Bite my shiny metal ass. What, bro, Reggie? <laughs> SpongeBob. S or Fred Flintstone. Bungle yeah. Bob. What? Bungle Bob. <laughs> I can't read this far away. <clears throat> fuck Bender? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Bender's awesome. Dummy. What if we made a Scooby adjacent cartoon but without Scooby? Yeah, they did that. It's called Velma and it's bad. It doesn't have Scooby in it? I don't know. Maybe the second season does. I didn't like the first season and I refused to even hate watch the second season because I refused to give Velma any more views because the reason it got a second season is because all y'all motherfuckers watched the first one. It's bad. It's garbage. And Mindy Kaling, we don't need your self-hatred all over a good franchise. It's another soapbox. Please, you have more than enough. Velma is bad. Two live actions? There were actually four live actions. <coughs> actually, there were five. Actually, well, if you count all the... Wow, there's a lot of live actions, actually, when you think about it. Because there's... <laughs> There's the two original ones with, like, the what you think about mm -hmm. with, like, uh, what's their face? Freddie Prince Jr. Mm -hmm. and, and those folks. Um, and Matthew Lillard. And then they did, like, the direct-to-Cartoon Network sequels, and there were, like, two of those. There was the first one, which was, like, a Breakfast Club meets Scooby-Doo prequel. And then there was another one where it was like, ah, Velma's a frog witch. What? Also, she and Shaggy are, like, kind of together. It's real weird. Um, and then there was, uh, and then there was the, um, the, like, the just, it's just, a, it's a prequel, but it's just Velma, and it's just Daphne, and it's bad, because they don't know how to make good things. Here's the thing. Scooby-Doo, as a franchise, it's 
like 65% bad. Most of it's not good. Let's be real. But like sometimes you find a gem in there and you're like, wow, am I watching Scooby-Doo? Case in point, all of Mystery Incorporated, most of a pup named Scooby-Doo, uh, Curse of the 13th Ghost, the movie version, um, Scooby-Doo Legend of the Phantasaur, incredible movie. Incredible movie. Sarah's just letting it happen. It's not even Sarah's straight. It's not. It's not. Thoughts on the 13 Ghosts. Incredible, incredible movie. Why they made it all these years later? Who's to say? What's the audience for that movie? Me? Jello Apocalypse? Wow. Two people watched it. Woohoo! Um, it, but it was good. I loved Flim Flam Grown Up. It's always great to see Vincent Van Gogh in the mix. It was also really funny because they like leaned into the fact that Velma and Fred weren't in the original series and they were like, when did you do that? Um, awesome Bomber, it wasn't a remake. It was a follow-up movie to the TV show because in the TV show, they canonically only got 12 of the 13 ghosts. And then in the plot of the movie, they like open the box and all the ghosts are out again and Vincent Van Gogh's like, Mom! Yeah. Wild stuff. <laughs> you know those you know those um TikToks that are like we asked our Gen Z intern to make a comp to like make the video about whatever we're doing. I'm gonna make one of those, but it's gonna be you talking about Scooby Doo and it's just gonna be every time you go what Yeah. <laughs> um, Austin Bomber, there was a show. It was back in like the eighties. It was, it was right after, uh, the Red Shirt Shaggy series, so basically they, they, they brought in Scrappy to save the failing show, and then everybody was like, this, bring back the girl, we, we like girls, bring girls back, so they were like, okay, I guess you can have Daphne, but, like, they weren't gonna bring Fred back because he was still irrelevant, and they weren't gonna bring Velma back because you couldn't get off to her yet. And so they were like, here's Flim Flam, a little huckster boy from the Himalayas. And he was silly, he was wacky, he was great. How do I how do I feel about the dark about the removal of darker mystical tones after Mystery Incorporated? Here's the thing. Be cool Scooby-Doo was actually kind of wacky and silly and funny. Um, like, they had Daphne be, like, openly crazy, which is a great take. I'm psychic, and I can um, sense a raid coming. Am I about to get fucking raid-bombed by the squid mob? Hello, Hi, what's Davin. up? Hi, I Davin. didn't know you who you had on today, and then I heard Scooby-Doo talk, and I knew it was your sister. Correct. I'm confused because of a Matthew Lillard movie called 13 Ghosts. Okay, Matthew Lillard was in the movie Scooby-Doo and the 13 Ghosts, which is a sequel movie to the prequel series. Did he do another movie called 13 Ghosts? Maybe. Matthew Lillard did get his start in horror with Scream. Um, I'm sure, like, maybe. Oh, my lord! Okay, I'll let you do your thing. Gamers! 205 new boners. That's a lot of boners. Wait, let me do my little... 205 is a lot of... Bo I'm overwhelmed by this. Hold, hold on, hold okay, on. Okay, okay. ink it ink as if I'm not gonna see you in, like, um, an hour and a half. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm raiding you and running because I love you. I love you. Go, go rest. Go rest. Um... Have a lovely... I know the lamp. I can see the lamp. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What's up, gamers? If you don't know who I am, my name is Sarah Sweetie. You can call me Sarah. You can call me Sweetie. I go by any pronouns. My sister calls me an asshole. Only she's allowed to do that. This is my sister. Sister, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm 22. I don't like long walks on the beach. I'm oh. a Leo, and I am insane. Gunshot, thank you for the follow. I, got, I can't read from this far away. Anyway, if if you're new here, um, I don't normally... Well, I do normally do all this shit. Um, I'm kind of just letting my sister spew whatever comes out of her mouth, so... It is a lot. Yay, <laughs> sister talk. Correct. Happy possum family. Correct. And if you want to know something embarrassing, I started this stream... Brax, whatever, you just donated on Kofi, thank you so much. Um, we're talking about Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Oh. Abracadabra, thank you for the follow. Um, thank you for the, thank you for the $3. Sane loves Twitch. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bone Zone. 
Um, oh. please, by all means, take it away. Oh, wait, I was gonna tell, I was gonna tell what I, my embarrassing thing that I, I started stream and I was doing a little, like, this thing, and then, um, I realized that my fly was down, and so I started to stream with my fly down. Anyway, please, continue. Damn, you're really exploring your family for content recently. If you meant exploiting, you're correct. Yeah, well, what else am I gonna fucking do what with What the that? hell did I miss? I went to go pay for funny. You missed Scooby-Doo! Um, yeah, so, like, what do we want to talk about? Anybody seen Scooby-Doo Camp Scare? What a great movie. What a wild movie. The plot of, Sco of Scooby-Doo Camp Scare mm -hmm. is that the gang goes to a summer camp to be, like, counselors. I think it was, like, Fred's old summer camp that he went to when he was, like, a kid. And all of the kids, like, the camp's about to get shut down because there's no money. And, like, all of the kids there are, like, little freakazoids. And there was this one little fat kid who, who had asthma. And he rolled, like, a little scooter because he was so fat he couldn't get around. Which, by the way, for those who just joining, I am also fat. Don't worry, this is totally above the board. I'm allowed to call people fat. Um, and, <laughs> um, and the whole movie is, like, them trying to get these kids to, like, be children. And they're, like, kind of into it. And then the fat little boy is, like, not into it at all. It turns out the fat little boy is, like, a 40-year-old mobster who is trying to blow up the dam to flood the camp and the city. Fat people make good doors. It's true. Fat people make good doors. <laughs> um, and no, no, no. There was not another camp across the lake. That was Camp Rock. They were trying. He was trying to blow up the dam to f to, to flood the city because in but under all the water in the dam is a town, and under that town is his old mobster gold. Why? You can't make this stuff up. Scooby-Doo... Actually, I think you can. I think that's how they made the movie. No, you can't. Scooby-Doo has the wildest plots, and some of the villains... Because, like, here's the thing. When you're when you're watching Scooby-Doo, you always know what you're going to get. It's an evil capitalist in a mask being like, rah, property. It's usually about property. Um, That motherfucker never heard of a scuba tank. Dude, he's fat. Fat people can't scuba dive. Oh. Um, Dino Nuggets, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bone Zone. I just realized, not to like be that guy, but I just realized I'm five followers away from 1300, and that's kind of crazy. He was a child mobster with a gold mine. He wasn't actually a child. He was like a 40 year old, and he was a mobster, but there wasn't a gold mine. He just had like, he had like his, his old, his old team's gold buried under this. There was, so there was a lake. Next to the camp that the, the kids I'm all went very like, easily in. bought. Whoa, My attention awesome is bummer for with sale. A, yes. a girl's Yo, gotta make a living. You thank know? You for the five gifted. Holy shit. You meant a goal? What's the goal? That's sick. 175 subs. This woo, woo, woo. Is huge. Thank you so much for your five gifted. That's so sweet of you. Awesome. Woo woo. Continue. Um, yeah, so he buried his, there was a lake, and under the lake, the gang found a town, and they were like, that's weird, why is there a city under this lake, that's, cities don't belong underwater, unless, oh my god, mermaid men, it wasn't mermaid men, um, and then, was Barnacle Boy there? No, that's the wrong show. Damn it! Um, and then there was, there was, there was treasure, so they got the treasure under the lake, and then, like, they saved the camp. Y'all ever seen the clown that hides from gay short people? No, I'm yes. gay and short, so he hides. Yes, from I him. have. So he was just obviously Fuck. a man trying to act like a child. No, he very much looked like a child, and I remember watching this for the first time when I was like 12, and I was like, "What do you mean he's 40 years old? What do you mean?" Because like he would talk like this and like have a, an inhaler and talk with like a lisp, and then suddenly was like. Oh, my voice is down here. You caught me. I'm a capitalist and I want my money. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sarah's a mess. Sarah doesn't know how to do stuff. Yeah. Eat ass. What? Sarah, Suddenly it's a problem when I say too based. Don't let the seat. Siri, shut up. Sarah, your sister's too based. Don't let the CIA get in here. 
Oh, they're already after her from... What were we, say? What were we talking about at lunch? <laughs> the Boeing whistleblower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Boeing just, like, straight up killed two guys. And, like... <laughs> and, like we were actually talking about something she might get shot for. And, like, what? <laughs> I used to have a friend who would spoil plots for me when I developed the instinct to completely disable my ability to listen once people start describing plots, even though I have no intention of watching it, so I've been completely zoned out for 20 minutes. Um, Dr. Squackle, that's stupid. Fix yourself. <laughs> Kidding. Don't be mean to my mods. They're the only <laughs> thing keeping us, bu uh, bu us keeping, keeping the savages from us. The CIA only operates outside of the USA and the FBI inside. Dude, the CIA this operates inside the U.S. too. It's called the Central Intelligence Agency, and I don't know where you think Central refers to, but it's in the U.S., my guy. Yo, what's up? I got nothing. <laughs> we're a nemesis. It's established. This is true. Gift for me or the cat? Jessica, pick a gift for me or the cat. Thank you for 100 bits. Gift for you or the cat. Choose. Oh, I don't... Ah! I'm gonna be nice for you. Aww. Aww. I'm gonna be nice. For me, I guess. Also, because her cat is so spoiled and has so much stuff. But you know who isn't spoiled? No, no she, she is. Ginger. Look at my Gingy. Look at my Gingy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's so cute. I love her. The CIA has no interest in investigating Americans. No, they just kill them. Awesome bomber, I think you are you are quite mistaken. Um, but, but bombers kind of sound like a Fed right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, so so hey hey bomber, you legally have to tell me if you're a cop. Are you a Fed? This is entrapment if you don't tell me. Mods, get this guy. <laughs> Mods, get this guy. That's a fucking Fed right there. FBI, open up! You're gonna scare my neighbors. Good. What do you mean, good? They have a child! Oh, bomber. Well, how old is the child? I don't know. I just know it's a child. Well, a two-year-old could handle it a lot better than, like, an eight-year-old. You'd probably scare an eight-year-old. A two-year-old would be like, all right, what are you gonna do, arrest me? <laughs> what is an MIB? Men in black. Oh. No, those guys are cool. You can't- Yeah, they deal with aliens. Yeah. I need to fix my hair. What? Entrapment is a made-up thing from TV? It doesn't hold up in court? Actually, it does. Entrapment is real. This is- she's- she's going to law school. Maybe. <laughs> Alright. So, let's talk about entrapment. So, if I say, hey, if you're a cop, you have to tell me you're a cop. That's not entrapment. That's not real. I can lie about being a cop all day long. I don't have to tell you shit. But, if a cop hands me weed and is like, hey, do this weed. And then I'm like, I don't really want to do the weed. And the cop is like, actually, if you don't do the weed, I'm going to be really upset with you. And I'm going to, like, key your car. And then you do the weed. That is called entrapment. If a if a if a if a if a, if a, if a cop or a federal employee, Jessica, what are your thoughts on MK Ultra? Who? <laughs> what? What is MK Ultra? It's a government. <laughs> it's a... What is MK Ultra? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> what is MK Ultra? You saying who? <laughs> Probably the funniest gotta, thing I've ever seen. This, I gotta, I gotta Google it. Wait, what did I just get gifted? Wait, 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 wait. MK Ultra. Oh, it's a music band. No, no, oh, it's a program. MK Ultra was an Percy, illegal follow human experiments program designed and undertaken by the U.S. CIA to develop procedures and identify drugs that could be used during interrogations to weaken people and force confessions through brainwashing or psychological torture. Period from 1953 to 1964. How do I feel about MK Ultra? I don't know. I Thank just you learned for the about mouse it. Pad. It sounds bad. You've sent her down a rabbit hole. Nah, I'm good. Did y'all know the CIA sold cocaine to American citizens? Yeah, that's yes. Called... Yeah. Yeah. 
Did you know that that, that did, <laughs> MK Ultra did not create the Unabomber? Who's the Unabomber, Sarah? You. Yeah. So my sister, <laughs> my my sister has this outfit or had this outfit that was it a, like a Rooster Teeth hoodie? It was a ruby from Rooster Teeth onesie. I still have it, by the way. It was in. It was oh. on the bed you just took down. Jake GC, thank you for the follow on the bone zone. Um, and the thing is, it zipped all the way up to the top. So, like, you could zip up the face, too. Continue. Um, oh, no, it's funnier when you say it. Okay. This is your stream, remember? Yeah, okay, anyway. So, one Thanksgiving, my mom just, like, randomly was being a bitch. And I was like... <laughs> you can't say that! I say whatever I want. It's my stream. <laughs> And she was like, hey, you're the Unabomber. I don't actually remember how it came up, but, like, she called me the Unabomber. Um. <laughs> Damn! Are you texting mom? You better not, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna tell mom. No! <laughs> I love you, mom. No, I'm, I'm going into the, like, quotes. Thing. Okay, anyway, um, so she called me. Did I know that Philadelphia PD dropped the bomb on their own civilians? Dude, don't all cops... Anyway. Yeah, Mama Sweetie is an angel. Yes, you take she that back. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, she called me the Unabomber, and then I put on the the onesie, and I was like, wow. And then my dad called me a pinata. So we have a quote that's like, wow, Thanksgiving I was the Unabomber, Christmas I'm a pinata. Nobody loves me. And I don't remember the, I don't remember what happened after that. That was just a, was a thing that happened. Do you want to, I forgot about this, this list. Do you want to go through some of the things that you've said and then explain them? Sure. The first, I have a, I have a list of quotes on my phone that is oh, quite long. Um, the U.S. government did not give people syphilis and then pretend to treat it. Actually, syphilis comes from Christopher Columbus on the Mayflower. So syphilis, uh, before, before the, the, the colonization of the New World, um, had never been found in humans it had only been found in llamas and then christopher columbus set foot on in in on on, Amer in Amer on american soil and suddenly there was syphilis in people i'm not saying christopher columbus fucked the llama i'm just you know the truth is out there open your eyes sheeple anyway <laughs> continue um <laughs> the f so there's one of them the f the first quote i have on this list is I didn't know Michael Jackson was black. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to explain I yourself? was 10 years old. I was 10 years old. And Michael Jackson had vitiligo. <laughs> and the only pictures I had ever seen of him were when it had, like, overtaken him. That when I... St I you guys suck. I was 10. I was 10. <laughs> Make your sister a permanent guest, I agree. Would you like a weekly spot? Sure. <laughs> Do you think anyone has ever been cremated alive? <laughs> yes, that's called arson. I don't, I don't even remember the context of this one. I was just like, yeah, what if is, has anyone been? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. That one's not that funny. I could, oh, I can see why okay. I would ask that. So this, you had just gotten your hoodie. You had just gotten your hoodie, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, we were all making fun of you. Mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. said, I didn't. I don't have to take this. And you zipped it all the way up. And mom said, just stay like that. And then you said, you can't see it, but I'm extremely <laughs> mad. And then my dad said you looked like a pinata. And then I said, Christmas on uh, Thanksgiving, I'm the Unabomber. Christmas, I'm a pinata. Yeah, you know, I, uh, they did that to my buddy Carl. <laughs> Fucking sucks, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> you got any more? I'm a sheep, but I'm the black sheep. When did you say that? I don't know. I was. I think I was trying to be like edgy, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm." It's like you're, we're all sheep, but I'm the black sheep. Salmon is locks. It was actually a question. You said, "Wait, salmon is locks." See, these are good quotes. Imagine if a whale had a big oh, nasty fuck. toenail. <laughs> That's funny. It's, I stand by that one. Imagine it. Imagine if a whale had a big old nasty toenail. That's hysterical. Sarah, help me. <laughs> You're actually still <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. 
up. Oh, did you break it? Oh my god, it broke. Oh no! It's okay, you can get it fixed. Where did it break? It's the clasp. Oh no. That's actually so unfortunate. I've worn this every day for the last five years. Squid and Sister Stream when? I actually knew Squid before I knew Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. I knew Squid before <laughs> Sarah. Jessica did not know that there was no Puerto Rican language. She did not know that they spoke I Spanish. Was, I was dumb. I was a child. What do you mean? Jessica, this was less than, like, four years ago. That's not true. That one was quoted when we were driving you to college. That was seven years ago, asshole. <laughs> I just gave Sarah a crisis of... There's no way. I was 15, dog. I was dumb as shit. I'm still dumb as shit. I'm less dumb. I knew that Puerto Ricans spoke Spanish at 15. I was stupid. You was? I was stupider. <laughs> okay, let me, let me pose you this question that you asked. The real question is what color is Jesus flavored Gatorade? And I stand by it. Chat, what color would Jesus flavored Gatorade be? Ain't nothing wrong with being dumb as shit. It's true. I mean, red for wine. There's already a red Gatorade. There's already a red Gatorade. Crimson. Peach? But why peach? Black. Maybe. What do you mean by that? What? I don't want. Why would you want to drink a black drink? It was my, my gamer substance black sometimes oh brown like his skin that yeah, could it's be not like pitch black it's still goths yeah what the fuck there's already every color of gatorade what the hell kind of question is yeah this? i know he wasn't white nor was he catholic and te if you want to get real technical jesus was trans too no daddy no white chromosome I'm just saying. It's the truth they don't want you to hear. Take it from us. We're Jewish. We know everything about Christianity. Gatorade has almost a full rainbow. It's woke. But does it make a rainbow drink? My sister my sister named me um, Sarah Fuck Them Kids Sweetie once. Sorry, I'm just going through this question. He's, oh, yeah. He's this list now. Well, I mean, if you want to get some good quotes from me, you just gotta go back through There's my, a uh, dick stain on my ceiling? When the fuck did that happen? Oh, and I think I have videos! Okay, so- Why do you have videos of a dick stain on your ceiling? I mean, the dick is in my car right now, actually. <laughs> okay, okay, chat, chat, chat. Get, get ready. Okay, so I have a friend who is a trans man, and he bought a packer, which for those who don't know, is a- like it's so jover. It's a flaccid silicone penis that you put in your pants to like not feel dysphoria. So he bought it and he was really excited to show us all because like of course. And we found out really quickly <laughs> that it's very sticky on walls. So we start throwing it around my apartment because of course and it's really funny and I there's video of us chucking this thing at my my walls and i won't play it because i don't like i don't have permission from my friends to show this on stream so i'm not going to do that without their permission um but how did we find that out i think my friend just like took it and like threw it against the window to be funny and it stuck um yeah it's so, also tos yeah so we we start throwing it around my apartment and we're like well, what about the ceiling? 
And so we threw it at the ceiling and it left and it stayed there for like 30 minutes. And then when it finally came down, we looked up and there was a mark left on the ceiling. Um, and it was, it stayed there. I could never get up to it. So I never cleaned it. Um, so anyway, now that all of me and my friends have graduated, I can confidently say if you ever go to the University of Miami and you stay in Lakeside Village Unit 307A, uh, and you go up to the window and look up, there might be a dick stain on the ceiling. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, there might be a dick stain on your ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> if you look up right now, there's a dick stain on all of your ceilings. This is Oprah. Look up. Everybody, dick, gets, everybody you gets get a, dick a dick stain. stain. You get a dick stain. Everybody you get a dick stain. Dick stain. I'm going to hand us deviants. Just gonna... I don't go there anymore. What are you going to do? Love go harass whatever random person who More lives Sarah there? appreciation. Okay, we Sarah lose. deserves a good weekend. I don't Hopefully want Sarah remembers to be now. kind to theirself and says no to the negative thoughts and self-doubt because Sarah rules. What's up? Everyone deserves the right to care about themselves. Sarah deserves yeah, it. It already read it out. Oh. You can read it to yourself. Thank you so much, Mr. Bandana Head. You're really nice to me. And it makes me feel like I don't deserve it. Thank you for the tip. 420. <laughs> Nice. It's just a mistake. LMAO. You do know they track where you live, right? How? What are you gonna do with it? I don't go there anymore. They know where you live now. No, they don't. Fun fact: my legally listed address is not my address. Good luck, schmucks. <laughs> Can you imagine good luck, Charlie, but they're all Yiddish, so they go, and good luck, schmuck, <laughs> and then they close the computer. Kindness is free. Kindness is free, but yeah. also, like, $5 in my pocket doesn't hurt either. Who's that? Who's texting you? My dad, your dad. Well, what did he say? The dog crawled in to, wait. I'm gonna see. Sorry, wait, I'm gonna just in yeah. case. Yeah. The dog crawled into a Aww. table. And the caption is she thinks she's a cat. I don't know if you can see, but that's her. She's like in a table. Zoom in. Man, fuck kindness. I'd rather be a bitch and be funny. That's my dog's butt. Look at it. Look at it. She's a child. Your cat walks around naked in the back of your stream. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> my cat licks her own butthole in, in the back of my stream. I don't even know where she is. Dude, you know what? <laughs> no, I can't say that. <laughs> no, say it. Wait. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> say it with your whole chest. <laughs> this is on the internet. Forever. If I can lick my own butthole. Oh, wait. Now that's something I can get behind. Licking your own asshole. Nice. Nice. <laughs> this has devolved rather quickly. That's not my fault. What are you talking about? This is your stream. You had, you know, you claimed it. You claimed it. Your Honor, I have never in my entire life claimed to be in charge of Sarah Sweet's uh, stream. And this is lies and slanders, and I would I would move to have Miss Sweetie removed from the court for her outbursts and slander. Have fun. Hearsay, hearsay. Sorry. Um. Unfortunately, the the there is no jury in a civil case. 
um, of this matter. We're just, we're in primary hearings. We're not in, uh, we're not in the deliberation phase, which is when the jury would be brought in. I'm lying. Dr. Squat, that's a mighty accusation, Your Honor. I, I would move to, uh, to strike Dr. Squawkle's, uh, regards from the record. Your Honor, I move to motion to disregard that goofy ah motion. Um, overruled. Sustained. I don't know if she'll... She, she let me hold her when you were in the bathroom. <laughs> she did. Not while on screen. While you were... When we got back from lunch, dinner, whatever it was. Boop, boop. Boop. She doesn't like boop. that. She doesn't like that. She's not doing anything. Her claws are in my shoulder. Why can't we give her? Hi, baby. You gotta hold her tight. Hi, baby. Ooh. So I'm the lawyer and the judge, you better believe it. I'm not gonna yell because I have a cat in my arms and I don't wanna make her uncomfy. Oh. <coughs> Hello. She wants out. Okay. Go. Okay, Your Honor, respectfully, I'm overstimulated and just a girl. I'm overestimated and a girl. Oh, it says over. I can't yeah. read. Uh, Your Honor. <coughs> <coughs> we gotta end soon because I gotta go. Yeah. Okay, Your Honor, I move to, uh... <laughs> your, uh, your Honor, I'm dyslexic as fuck. On this calculate, does that count? What is this? Oh, yeah, you can't do math. I don't do... I, this is like you can't this, see numbers, It's dyslexia, yeah. but with numbers. It's, it's number racism. You don't see numbers. <laughs> what if that makes dyslexia? <laughs> Language racism? <laughs> Sorry, guys, if you're dyslexic, you're racist. Sarah said it here. <laughs> Sorry, Brax. Well. Um, anyway, get the fuck out of the way. I'm gonna end stream. <laughs> Five subs right now, and I will smack her in the face. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about I can't do that. How about ten subs? Ten subs. Ten subs when we go fist fight in a Denny's parking lot. No, that's <laughs> worth at least a hundred. Ten subs. I think that's it. It is against TOS. And well, who said we were gonna film it? <laughs> ten subs. And. <laughs> I don't know, I eat a car? <laughs> like a real one, not like a little baby one, like a real one. Is Denny's PvP enabled zone? Yeah, but no team killing. <laughs> They're weird like that. Move. What do you mean out. move? I mean, get out of my way. I'm fat! Stop trying to force it! <laughs> Waffle House is PvP encouraged. <laughs> think about what you just said and then think about taking it out of context. Well, don't take it out of context, idiot! I have to. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. What is Bye this? Bye fuckers. Hold on. We're not... Okay, okay, okay. Who are we gonna raid? Who's live right? Oh, let's raid Rod and... Wait, maybe we should raid Longy. Let's raid Long- we're gonna raid Longy. Longy is doing a- Just kidding, Longy's asleep. I lied. Nobody be weird, by the way. We're gonna- we're gonna raid Scootish. Nobody be weird. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining. If you're still here from the Squid Raid, thank you so, so much. Um, the internet is a scary place, and I do my best to make it a little bit better. If you're not already in my Discord, please feel free to, um- Join that as where you get the most up to date stuff from you know for schedules and Join shit. Join the bone zone. Get a boner. Say goodbye, Jessica. Uh, Sarah said that the internet is a scary place, and I like to think that I made it just a little bit scarier today. <laughs> Good night. Go ahead and copy that raid message. <laughs>
We're gonna give Scooty Badoot Doot, my best friend Scootish, a little raid. Um, there, he's playing some Paper Mario. He's live every day in May. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll raid some Met Gala 